Hi guys, today we'll see how you can customize the WooCommerce email template. Let's say you have an e-commerce website and now when a customer purchases a product from your site, they'll receive an email like this, which doesn't look that good. Now what if you could send an email like this, which looks more eye-catchy and professional. You can do that easily by watching this video. So after watching this video, you'll be able to customize your email and have an attractive design like this, which will have your brand logo and the order details. And you can also add a button like this so that if your customer wants to purchase more products on your site, they can just click this button and it will take them to your store page where they can buy more products. Next, we'll see how you can recommend the related products to your customers in the email like this, which will encourage your customers to purchase more products. Okay, now having a design like this will help you grab the attention of your customers, will boost your average order value and increase the overall profit for a sale. Okay, so let's get started. I'm Harshit from Website Learners. And let's customize our WooCommerce email design. So to customize the email, first we need to install the WooCommerce email template plugin. Now this is the plugin which is going to help us to edit our email design. So to install it, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Then go to plugins and click add new. Now here, search for the plugin called WooCommerce email template. And you'll get this plugin. Now to install this plugin, let's click install. And then click activate. As you can see, we have successfully installed the plugin. Once you have installed the plugin, now the email design will be imported to your e-commerce site. So to check that, let's go to WooCommerce. Then go to settings. And you'll get this page. Now go to emails. Here you can see that we have different types of email notifications. Now these are email notifications which customers receive once they purchase the product from your site. So to edit the email, just select the email notification you want to edit. I am going to select processing order. Now this is the email notification which will be sent when a customer purchases a product from your site. So let's click here. Then click edit. And here you can see that we have got the new email design. Once you have got the new email design, next let's see how you can edit the content of your email design. So to edit the content, first let's add our logo here. So to add it, let's remove this default text. So just click here. And the text will be removed. Now drag and drop the image element here. Once you have done that, click select. Now drag your logo and drop it here. And you can see the logo has been added. Now if you don't have a logo and want to create a professional logo, you can create one by watching this video. Once you have added your logo, next let's see how we can add the text here like this. So to add it, first we need to add a layout here. So just click here and then drag this layout and drop it here. Now to add the text, let's drag this text element and drop it here. As you can see, we can now enter our text. So just select the text and then enter the text you want. I am going to enter order received. Now to increase the size of the text, just select it. Now click here and select the size you want. As you can see, the text size has been increased. Now to move this text to the center, just click here and it will be moved to the center. Now if you want to add a background color for this layout, just click on this layout, then click here and then enter the color code of your choice. As you can see, the background color has been changed. Once you have changed the background color, now to change the color of this text, just click on this text, then select the text and then click here and select the color you want. I am going to choose this color. As you can see, the text color has been changed. 
In the same way, you can add any text to your email design. Next, let's say you want to remove this section. So just click here. And the section will be removed. In the same way, you can remove any section on the email design. Now if you want to move this button from here, then just drag the button and drop it wherever you want. I am going to drop it here. Let's say when a customer clicks on this button, you want to take them to your e-commerce site. To do that, just click here. And here you need to add your e-commerce store link. Now before we add the link, first let's change this text on the button. Just select the text and then enter the text you want. I'm going to enter shop more products. As you can see, the text on the button has been changed. Once you have changed the text, now to add your store link, just go to your site and copy the store link. Then go back and paste it here. Once you have added the e-commerce store link, if you want to change the shape of the button, you need to increase the number of border radius here. So, I am going to increase it to 30. As you can see, the button shape has been changed. Next, let's add our social media links here. To do that, just click here. And here you can add your social media links. So, let's say you want to add your Facebook link. To do that, just remove this hash. Then, enter your Facebook link. In the same way, you can add other social media links. Ok, once you have edited the content of your email design, just click update. So now we have successfully customized the WooCommerce email template. Once you have customized the template, next let's see how our customer receive the email when they purchase the product from our site. To check how it works, just like a customer would do, let's purchase the product on our site. So go to our site and go to all products. Now select the product you want to purchase. I am going to select this one. Then click add to cart. And click view cart. Click proceed to checkout. Then enter your details. And click place order. You can see that we have successfully placed the order. Once the customer has placed the order, they will receive an email in their inbox. So if they go to their inbox, you can see that they have received an email. Now if they open it, you can see that they have got the exact design on the email which we edited. Ok, now if the customer wants to purchase more products, they can click this button. And it will take them to your site, where they can purchase more products from your site. Ok, now you know how customers will receive the email which we edited. Next, let's see how the admin will receive their email. So if we go to our admins inbox, you can see that we have received an email. Now if you open it, you can see the email design which the admin receives. Ok, now we have edited the email design for a processing order. If you want to customize other email designs like new order or completed order, just go to your dashboard, then go to WooCommerce and click settings. Then click emails. Now here you can select any email notifications for which you want to edit the design. I am going to select this. So let's click here. And click edit. Now like we did before, you can edit the design of the email in the way you want. Ok, so now you know how to edit the email design using a free plugin. Next let's go to the bonus part of this tutorial, where we'll see how you can recommend the related products on your email design like this, using a paid plugin. So to recommend the related products to your email, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to purchase the WooCommerce email template customizer plugin. So to purchase it, just click the link below this video. And it will take you to this page. Now click add to cart and click go to checkout. Now enter these details and click create account and continue. 
Now select the payment method. And then enter your payment details. Now if you click here. As you can see, we have successfully made the payment and purchased the plugin. Once you have purchased the plugin, next let's download this plugin. So let's click download. As you can see the plugin has been downloaded to our computer. Once you have downloaded the plugin, we can now go to step 2 which is to install this plugin on WordPress. So to install the plugin, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Then go to plugins and click add new. Then click upload plugin. Now click choose file and then select the plugin which we have downloaded and click open. And you can see the plugin has been selected. Now to install the plugin, let's click install and then click activate. As you can see, we have successfully installed the plugin. Once you have installed the plugin, just go to this tab. Now this is the processing order email notification which we customized before. Now we are going to recommend the related products in this email design. So to recommend the related products, we need to add a text layout like this. So to add it, let's copy this text layout. So just click here and it will be copied. Then scroll down where you want to add. So let's say you want to add the text layout here. So just go here and click here. And the text layout will be pasted here. Once you have added the text layout, now just remove this text. And then enter the text you want. Now if you want to decrease the size of this text, like we did before, just select the text. Then click here and select the size you want. As you can see the text size has been decreased. Now you can also change the text color by clicking here. Once you have added the text layout, now to recommend the related products, just go to components. Now drag this layout and drop it here. Then scroll down and then drag this product element and drop it here. Now to recommend the related products, just click here and select related. Which will recommend the related products to your customers once they purchase the product from your site. And click update. Ok, now you can see that we have recommended only two related products in the email. If you want to increase the number of related products, all you have to do is just click on the products. Here you can increase the number of related products by increasing the number of rows and column. I am going to increase the number of columns. So let's click here. And increase the number of columns you want. I am going to increase it to 4. As you can see, we have now got 4 products on the email design. Once you have done that, just click update. Ok, this is how you can recommend the related products in your email design. Next, let's again check how the customer will receive their email. To check that, we need to purchase the product on our site. So just like a customer would do, let's purchase the product on our site. So go to our site and purchase the product. Once the customer purchased the product, they will receive an email in their inbox. Now if they go to their inbox, you can see that we have received an email. If they open it and scroll down, you can see that they have got the related products in their email. Now if the customer wants to buy this product, they can click on the product. And it will take them to your site where they can purchase the product right away. Okay. Now you know how customers will get the related products on their email. Next let's see how the admin will receive their email. So if you go to our admins inbox, you can see that they have received an email. Now if you open it, you can see the email design which the admin receives. Okay, so that's it guys. 
This is how you can customize the WooCommerce email template. Okay, now let's say you have a default checkout page like this and you want to customize it and have a good looking checkout page like this. You can do that easily by watching this video. Also make sure you click this subscribe button to see more videos from us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.